The Supreme Court may have set aside the death sentence of the man accused of the brutal rape and murder of Soumya, a woman in Kerala, on grounds that there was evidence of rape, but not that he killed her, and so has given him life. But the doctor who did an autopsy on Soumya said it was a clear case of murder. In Kerala's Thrissur district, 23-year-old Soumya's devastated mother hasn't stopped crying. <laughs> The Supreme Court set aside the death sentence of convict Govindu Chami, the man who raped her daughter, saying there was no evidence that he pushed her off the train or murdered her in 2011. But the doctor who was in charge of doing the autopsy of Soumya's body has told NDTV that neither she nor the earlier prosecutor was consulted by the new prosecution lawyers at the Supreme Court. Three choices of her. Suspicion were, uh, were to be discarded on the basis of uh, findings that uh, it was a manually executed murder. NDTV spoke to the team of prosecution lawyers who have completely denied these allegations made by the doctor. In fact, say at the stage that the case was at, they were not required to get in touch with the doctor. They refused to speak on camera though. However, they have said that they are looking into all the details of the case again so as to help the state in filing a review petition. Even former Judge Markande Kaju criticized the Supreme Court's judgment, saying Supreme Court judgment in Soumya case is wrong. The court has erred in law in not holding the accused guilty of murder, and the judgment needs to be reviewed to this extent. It is unfortunate. It is a fit case for give capital punishment. Whether it is a revision petition or other alternative method, we have to see. Thomas B. Joseph had made a better performance uh, before the Supreme Court. In consultation with the Advocate General and the Chief Minister, we will decide. The family says for them, it's yet another uphill climb for justice. With Sunil Prabhu and Siddharth Pandey in Delhi, Sneha Koshi for Indy TV.